The phonic sight word sequence text. This is PLD's long-term best-selling title. It is an essential resource within PLD's evidence-based structured synthetic phonics approach. It is a classroom resource or provides a framework for a junior primary or whole school literacy plan. In the newest edition, it has an integrated focus on sight words, but also includes all relevant testing formats for Foundation 2 Year 6. The initial pages provide overviews of all of the phonemes within the English language and how they have been allocated to either Stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and how gradually, over time, all concepts will be taught. There is a focus in this new edition on the foundation level in which students are prepared for stage one, focusing upon their alphabet sounds, but also the phonemic awareness skills of blending and segmenting. And the relevant assessment formats are also contained within this text. Within the foundation section, it outlines how students read first, spell second and write third, and how by mid-year and later in the year, that skill progression should be occurring. In terms of placement tests, within the text, there is a week one in term one, beginning of the year placement test to very quickly and time efficiently establish the range of ability within each classroom. There follows an end of term one review, ideally presented in week 10 of term one for year one to year six. The purpose being to establish the range in ability for the next terms process, but also to source measurable data on student performance and that the fact that students have benefited from your nine or 10 weeks of spelling instruction. There then is an end of term two review for foundation to year six because by the end of term two, our young students should be at least starting to spell CVC words, as well as an end of term three review, setting the focus for the term four process. The end of year review is provided, but that is, that is optional. What is re recommended at the end of the year is an end of year standardized spelling assessment to establish a spelling age but also percentile rankings and to establish whether the majority of students did make at least a 12-month increase in ability. Contained within the program are placement test templates and percentage converters. There are examples of junior, middle and upper primary test samples and how to mark and analyse them. Keep in mind that the tracking sheets that are linked to this process can be requested directly from the PLD site. The tracking formats are designed to be utilised in conjunction with this program and formulating that range in ability within any class into three more manageable levels. And that this drives the need for a step. some students and some classes will require some ongoing consolidation while progressing in their skills. Others will require more of a vocabulary focus while progressing through concepts. And those formats can also be found within the booklet. Now, on the bottom of the PLD site, there is a frequently asked questions section. This is a support site in which a range of related questions to the phonic sight word sequence and its implementation have already been asked and it's there as a reference guide. Very commonly we are asked how many groups, how, how do I make this manageable and get my three levels. Again, that is there is guidance within that support site for that particular frequently asked questions. Within the newest edition, there are investigations or short assessments when students are not progressing through stage one. And why are they stuck at 
stage one, target one, or, or having incredible difficulty at, say, CVC words or digraphs. There are, these are quick screens that will look at the skills underneath the, those particular phonic concepts and provide more detailed goals. And particularly at the base of the page, there will be a plan and ideas for how to realistically plan for these students within the classroom. PLD advocates ideally three ability levels within junior primary classes, but in middle and upper primary classes, this may move to four levels, but typically PLD will encourage you to try and establish three ability groups. And this may involve combination groups and combining the concepts and not thinking purely of, I've got a, st a stage two group, a stage three group, a stage four group, a stage five group, but a combination stage three, four group. I've got a stage two group, a combination stage three, four group, and, and a high level group. Again, that support site with how many groups can provide guidance. Within the phonic sight word sequence, there are stage one concepts with high frequency words now identified, stage two concepts with those high frequency words within stage three and within all of the entire book, it will list here's the phonic concept, but here are the sounding out strategies. There is a strong focus on phonemic awareness and sounding out in individual sounds or sounding out at a phonological awareness as the words get longer and sounding out at that syllabic level. There are also stage four, stage five, stage six concepts. There is a strong recommendation for phonic based dictation and there are examples for each level provided within the book. There are reading assessments because the majority of junior primary students require decodable reading material in those early stages of reading. And the early reading profiles found on pay at the end of stage one and at the end of stage two at page 70 will assist in the provision of targeted decoding reading material, but also data that the students are progressing through the guided reading and through your literacy tasks. At the end of each section, there are suffixes applied to the phonic base list words contained within that particular section. This resource is central to raising literacy levels within schools. It, the teaching and the ass assessment framework facilitates consistency across year levels and across classrooms. If you found this information useful, don't forget to click the subscribe button and check out our related videos shown here. If you have any questions or feedback, please add them to the comments below and we'll be sure to respond. Otherwise, you can reach us via live chat on our website, pld-literacy.org. Thanks again for viewing.